wife of 15 years had an affair for 2.5 years. TLDR, wife had an affair for 2.5 years with a co-worker. Can she be trusted now? I don't want my daughter to grow up in a broken home. Hi all. This is my first post here and I am looking to A. Let out some feelings by telling my story. B. Get some anonymous advice. My wife of 15 years carried on an affair for 2.5 years with a co-worker. When I met my wife, she had been divorced from her first husband for a few years. They had a daughter together, but he wasn't in the picture much, so I basically became her father. Once my stepdaughter got older, I wanted to have a child of my own, so I discussed it with my wife. Her tubes had been tied for years and she agreed to have them untied so that we could try and have a child together. We went through several pregnancies and miscarriages before she finally became pregnant with our daughter. Shortly after our daughter was born, I was forced to work nights which meant my wife was basically a single parent. I will admit that I have not been a great father, but I have been there when I could be and love my wife and daughter. About five years ago, my wife got her dream job that she really loved. Roughly 2.5 years ago, I found some things on her Snapchat and confronted her about them. She confessed she had been chatting with a co-worker and that they had kissed on two occasions. A few months later, I found some text messages where they had been meeting for lunch but my wife swore to me that was all they were doing and nothing had been happening. All seemed fine until a few months ago when she started acting distant towards me. She wasn't interested in sex at all and I basically had to beg her to do it with me. Three weeks ago, I confronted her about it and she confessed to a sexual affair which had lasted 2.5 years. She said she was in love with both of us, but she did not want to lose her family. That night I gave her an ultimatum that she could have no contact with her lover. We discussed some of all she had done, the sneaking around in apartment complex parking lots, hotels, and finally a climate-controlled storage unit that had a bed. She told me they were, amazing, together in bed and that she does love him. That was tough to hear but I told her I wanted the truth. She sent her lover a text ending it that night and she agreed to get on Life 360 with me. We have started counseling together, but I don't know if that is the best option. She has been extremely sad over hurting her lover and cries a lot. I don't feel as if I can ever trust her again, but I don't want my daughter to grow up in a broken home. Her reasoning for cheating that came out in our first counseling session was that I have taken her for granted for several years and she became angry with me. Plus in the first counseling session she talked about her strong feelings for her lover. She swears she has had no contact with him since that night, but given how she talks about him, I don't know if I believe her. My wife of six years cheated on me with her sister's boyfriend, we were roommates. So about a month ago, I was laying in our bed watching YouTube videos and on her side of the bed we have this remote organizer that she keeps small electronics in etc., I kept hearing this vibration noise so I dug through the little organizer and found her watch that's connected to her phone, and I found messages from her sister's boyfriend at the time and he said, I could get lost staring at you, and that he, deletes these, in reference to the messages. I immediately felt broken and just blown away by it, so I confronted her immediately about the messages and she starts crying and going on about how she was going to leave with him right then and there, things kind of simmered down after I confronted them both the same day, and they both had me convinced that nothing would come of it and that it was just a, mistake. I also had massive respect for my wife and her sister's boyfriend so I believed them. A couple weeks go by, I offer to take my son to my dad's house for a weekend after my wife asked me for some space, so I obliged. While I'm at my dad's house having a great time with my son. We have this bridge over the interstate near our home probably 5 minutes away on foot, and her sister ended up getting drunk and tried to jump off the bridge, for the second time but instead of going after her when she walked off on her own, my wife ended up having sex with her sister's boyfriend in our guest bedroom and they've basically been going out every night since then. When it comes to the sister's attempted suicide my wife says she's immature and is doing it for attention. 
I also happen to be clairvoyant and very empathetic so and I have very odd dreams that turn out to be real, for instance my mom's death and my grandmother's and now this. I knew where they fucked around it based off a dream I had while at my dad's, she had the audacity to ask me what position they were in when I mentioned this to her. There were times prior to anything happening or even the messages, I would notice her doing some things out of character, she would have a full face of makeup on when I'd get home from work and he was home for a while because he missed work with COVID. After an argument, I came home from work with flowers and chocolates and a couple other gifts and when I gave them to her she hits me with the, I don't like flowers, and is kind of rude to me while he's in her sister's room with the door open and somewhat chuckles while my wife is straight up being rude to me as if he knew something that I had not. Even though when I had my suspicions my wife would say things like ew no I could never do anything with him because he did get her sister pregnant. The sad part about all this is she actually came home to me and would tell me things like she loved me and hoped I was okay, and we even had sex a few times, unfortunate I know. I've been trying to reconcile things just because I genuinely believed she was the one for me when I proposed. But I feel like it's a wasted effort and I'm just emotionally ruined by this whole situation. As of right now, I've been just focused on myself and my son. I just would like to get feedback or anything on this because WTF. Long story short, I feel as if I had way too much trust in the people involved and I'm way too nice and get taken advantage of way too easily when it comes to those I love. The hardest thing for me is sleeping. I get up early, work 12 hours a day and that's not enough to make me physically tired. My soul yearns for this woman because she's literally the first one I've ever truly loved. We had a lot in common and she does a great job most of the time. I'm just baffled by the fact this would have happened right under my nose had I not seen those messages yet it still played no role. I've never touched another woman in 7 years so starting anew will be difficult for me and I really wish things were not how they were. For more context this is the second time she's cheated, and today when I finally saw her again she had hickeys on her neck. So yeah, there's that. I made the mistake of continuing to sleep with the girl who cheated on me. I found texts with an ex from her hometown on her phone one morning and it was brutal. I read everything and was able to find out that when she took a week to visit family back home she decided to visit him a couple times as well. He then ghosted her afterwards by ignoring her texts for another month before she invited him over to a party she was having one she told me I wasn't invited to because it was just for her and her girlfriends, but he ultimately no-showed the party. Once I read the texts I kicked her out of my place and didn't talk to her for over a week. I should have never contacted her again but I had so many of the why. And, how could you, questions and needed closure. She actually agreed to give it to me and explain it about how they dated for six months two years ago and then one day he just completely disappeared out of her life without explanation. He's been popping in and out since and she's not been able to get they closure with him so she allows it to ruin any relationship after him. She also let me know that she was confused about how she felt about me and that she was scared by how fast we were moving. The issue is that after that talk I thought it was over and that I could move on but a few weeks after that conversation she texted me out of the blue and asked if I could get lunch with her to talk about something. I regretfully agreed. It was a nice time and reminded me how things were, or at least how they seemed. I fell into the trap and we ended up having sex after lunch and then every day for the next week afterwards. I hated myself for doing this, but I told myself it was just sex and that I wasn't going to ever be in a relationship with her again. Then suddenly it just stopped and a few days later she told me she couldn't do it anymore and wanted it to stop. I realized then it wasn't just sex to me and that I was having a hard time accepting that the relationship that we had before was over and that it was never what I thought it was. Now I'm feeling guilty and disgusted with myself for allowing myself to continue sleeping with her even after finding out about her unfaithfulness, and even worse that she's the one who had to end it. Yet I still feel a part of myself wanting her again. I feel like a massive pushover right now. Is this a normal feeling?
how can I just get over her and the feelings of shame I have for myself? 